Well, I love to go to the gym now. I love to exercise. Extremely good for your body. Extremely good for your mind. And I really uh, feel for those who watch a lot of morning uh, TV news. It's so depressing. It's so downbeat. Uh, Martin Daubeny, one of those, uh, pointing out actually that many are now switching off from mainstream media, hence why I think it's such a great thing that you've got new entrants to the market now like Talk TV and GB News. They are badly needed. But I bet you won't see much coverage of this report uh, from mainstream media. This is a really telling report from the Reuters Institute. A number of findings, uh, and please do whack this video a quick thumbs up because I don't think too many others in the media will be reporting on this. But look at these findings from the Reuters Institute. You know, younger audiences are increasingly accessing news via platforms such as TikTok and of course many here on YouTube. Trust and interest in news down in many countries. And a depressing news agenda is leading more people to avoid the news. And what's really fascinating about this, the number of avoiders, people that actively avoid the news now because it's so negative and depressing, has doubled in the UK. Doubled in five years from 24% to 46%. The proportion of the population now in the UK who sometimes or often actively avoid the news, you can see there, is higher as a percentage than any country other than Brazil. You know, more Brits now uh, actively avoid the news as a percentage of the country, uh, more than in America, in Australia, in Ireland, in France, in Spain, in Italy, in Germany, in Denmark, in Finland, or Japan. I mean, that really should be a wake-up call for, as I said, what is often just a completely miserable mainstream media. And it's clearly, literally, turning people off. As to why people are avoiding the news, 43% saying too much COVID and politics, 36% there saying it has a negative impact on their mood, 29% saying it's untrustworthy or biased. And you see when it comes to trust in media, you know, trust in media far lower here in the UK, uh, 34% of the population uh, trust the British media. That's lower than the likes of Ireland, Denmark, Norway, the Netherlands or Germany. So something has gone very badly wrong here. And I must say, I think it's, you know, we saw it happen, especially after Brexit, in my mind, uh, when many decided effectively to just start campaigning uh, against what the people had decided. And I think so many now on our TV screens, you know, pretending to be neutral, in reality, are trying to dictate to you, the viewer, what you should be worked up about, what you should care about, and so often what you should think. And it's clearly a massive turnoff to a huge amount of people in this country now who actively avoid the news. I think these findings are absolutely fascinating now. Uh, let me know what you make of them in the comments below, guys. As ever, I'll keep bringing you all the very latest on this and more. Please do whack this video a quick thumbs up. And of course, as ever, cheers for watching.